Please don't mind me, I'm just recovering from a cold still, so you know, <laughs> please give me a thumbs up though, like, you know, as I'm still dedicating a video for you guys. And as I promised on my Instagram, if you didn't know, I have my Instagram called Mrs. YX Journey, you can check it out. I often put like a few like stories about luxury or like either a day I got offer or like how I feel. Or traveling so you can check it out and for those who've been following me you guys probably know I asked you guys a poll questions about my Christmas unboxing right so I don't know if you guys remember or if you guessed it right you know you guys guess like who wrapped these big presents so for those who didn't get a chance to vote on your guest, please comment below and let me know what was your guest while you're watching this video. And the first one is the professional rapper. Do you think these are professionally wrapped from a professional rapper? Or is it wrapped by Mr. Y? Or did I myself, Mrs. Y did it? I don't know. I'm not going to tell you guys just yet, but I will. I will. Um, by the end of this video. Um, for the Christmas unboxing, I'm going to make two videos uh, because, you know, I have a lot of things to show you guys. Some, a few items have a little story behind it. Uh, as you know, these are Hermes items. They always have a story, right? So <laughs> I'm just going to talk about it as I'm unboxing. You can probably guess these three items are not from Hermes, but they are still a luxury brands that Mr. Y and I enjoys that's why we decided like we should treat ourselves a little better not just our masks you know it's the end of the year and we need to treat ourselves better after all just a little hint there are items that are mainly for like traveling purposes for those who've been following me you guys know i travel a lot for work um even not for work i still travel <laughs> because it's just love travel okay like traveling is so great regardless of for pleasure or for work so I figure I need to, you know, rewrap something and make sure I have enough gears when I'm traveling. So there you go. That's my little hint. But before I do the Christmas unboxings, for those of you who are new to this channel, just so you know, this channel talks about Hermes 90% of the time, but occasionally I do talk about, you know, some other luxury brands or not only about Hermes unboxing, but also Hermes strategy. Because I know like, you know, hunting for a bag at Hermes or hunting for the things that you want sometimes can get very competitive or it's just hard, right? It's just simply difficult. So I like to share with, you know, all the Hermes lover out there. And I hope, you know, my experience can help you or inspire you and know like, maybe there are possible ways or better ways to, you know, score the things that you want. Um, so mainly my channel is really talking about that rather than just unboxing. And of course, um, by doing so, sometimes I will do like shopping plot as well and you know give you a full experience on or actually share my experience uh, while shopping or walking around or conversation between me and the SA and just to understand that booty a little better. So in that case, you know, I would do a little shopping fly, a little review afterward. And that's partially the reason why I'm not reviewing my face just yet. <laughs> Maybe in the future I would, I don't know. But um, as of now, I'm, I'm still keeping my confidential. So yeah, if you want to know more about me, you know, feel free to comment below and maybe eventually you guys can convince me and I will, you know, talk about it and maybe I'll show my face. I don't know. Um, anyways, and feel free to DM me on Instagram because, you know, I love chatting with, you know, all the luxury lovers out there. And sometimes it's just really nice that, you know, have someone to talk to besides Mr. Y. Like I have other followers like talk to me about their experience or like their difficulties or like, you know, things that you scored that you want to share with me. 
you know, feel free to do so. I would love to say congratulations to you, okay? Anyhow, so without further ado, now we're gonna start our unboxing. By the way, Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> all right, I think Mr. Y just messing with you guys. Anyway, so yes, without further ado, we have to start unboxing for our part one video, right? So which one to get started? Um, I assume you guys want to know the Hermes boxes, but of course I'm not going to open it all. So let me open this one first. Okay, so let me open this. One hint, um, this is a ready to wear. So this is something you could wear. <laughs> anyway, so obviously it's a pair of shoes. Ta-da! So this is called the Hermes Fresh Angle Boots. They actually gave me like an extra shoelace. So it's different. This one's just pure green. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about the shoes. So this is obviously my first green shoes. But I love this army greens though. Like it looks so cool. Cool. like I tried this one and we were debating I mean I was debating whether to order the black one or just take the army blue but then when I wear it and then with this a parachute material it's like it looks so chic okay I, I feel like if I wear black it's just like so boring it's not much of a style and but with this army green like you can pair it with jeans like light blue or gray it doesn't really matter it just looks really chic in general and i barely take such a bold color especially i never worn before or it's not a summertime this is more like you know like winter time really but i feel like well why not right like this is like also water resistant it's perfect for the winter time i mean when i say water resistant i mean i was told by my essay the fact that you can walk in the rain, you can walk on the snow. However, you cannot just stand there and soak it in with water. This is, this is not waterproof. So what they mean is that water resistant is when you're passing by, that's okay. It's not gonna soak into your socks or your feet. So I think it's perfect. And so I mentioned that this is parasol material, but also it's with calf skin. So this is in 37 and a half. I was debating whether to take the 38 or 37 and a half because by looking at it so narrow, I thought I needed a 38. So I tried a 38 first, but then when I wear it, I was like, no, like around the toes, like the front toes here, it was a lot of space, almost like one thumb. So then I asked my asset, can I try 37 and a half? And luckily he has it. So I tried it. I was like, well, 37 and a half it is. So it's, I would say it's true size. Okay. And I love it. So another point that I want to point out is the fact that, remember I mentioned, it looks so chic with the army green. It might look a little masculine, but I think that's what's cool about it. Like you can be you know, a little tomboy, rather than just always being girly, right? So give yourself another style. So this one, I'm just gonna open it real quick. This is the same item for Mr. Y. So this is just another shoelace, and this is in black. So could you guys guess what color this is then? It has a black shoelace here. Because my extra one is green. Oh! Oh, something is wrong. So Mr. Wise has a dust bag for the extra shoelace, but mine doesn't. Oh, what a bummer. Oh, look guys, look. It's just one dust bag and the shoelace. Oh no, oh no, I'm sad. Hmm, how come? How come a man has it? Okay, anyways, it is what it is, right? <laughs> Oh, Mr. Y also got this fresh angle boots. So for Mr. Y, he chose the black one instead of army green. I mean, I personally think black ones suit him better rather than the army blue, to be honest. And plus, the shoelace have such a different color tone as well. I think that's great. I'm going to do a like little side by side for you guys in terms of color because between men's and women's they both have the same color combinations and of course with the same material like the parachute 
material with the cow skin so basically you know if you are thinking of getting it like right now when i look at hermes website actually they're sold out i believe um but at boutiques i've still been seeing it i just don't know if they ran out of size or not but if you're still looking for one or you're debating or anything like you know i just want to show you guys like these two colors um they also have i think the men's one they also have the orange i believe the woman also have orange color as well so if you're interested just you know take this as a review and perhaps look at the hermes website in men's shoes because i think they still have it so this one just for your reference um this men's size it's in 43 and a half okay and mr y normally wear 43 and a half at hermes so this shoes it has a really long story so we were trying these shoes at my boutique like with my essay right he tried the 43 and he tried a 44 and it just didn't work but the boutique didn't have 43 and a half so my essay decided to you know just place order basically like have another store transfer and just ship it to my house directly right the funniest thing is usually when in the past when the essay had to do that but i have something i could check out on the day of like in store usually it's two different transactions but for some reason my essay decided to make it into one transaction this time and i was confused i asked him i was like oh it's not a two separate transaction and he's like no we're just gonna make it one i'm like okay but then you know mr y's shoes actually didn't come as expected like we thought it's gonna come around on a friday or something right but no it didn't come until like the following week which is very weird so before i reach out to my essay my essay actually reached out to me and he told me he had to inquire from six different boutiques in order to obtain this. I was like, really? Like, I didn't know. I I felt like he's making, like trying to be very strategic so that Mr. Y can get a pair of boots as well. And not, another thing what's going on on the day of was that was the day that I rejected the Coda bag. If you guys have been following me on my Instagram, you guys know like I rejected a Coda bag. And that was the day that I purchased these two items. And maybe he, he felt bad as well. It wasn't my perfect combination, maybe. So that he felt like if we really wanted something, he should really satisfy us. Maybe he's trying to do that. Some essay told me like, if you paid already and the SA ordered through another boutique, they have to sell it. But sometimes they don't. So maybe this time, you know, five boutique just didn't want to give up their boots. So that he really had to, you know, find the sixth boutique that finally willing to give up the boots so but anyways i'm so grateful for my essay and we both got this and this will be a little couple shoes and we are going away for the holiday so perfect if you ask me about the cost so it doesn't matter if it's women or men's they both cost 890 dollars which is the same amount which is very interesting. It's kind of ripped off though for women, don't you think? Because it's less material, but we pay more. So now I am going to review who wrapped these beautiful boxes. So the answer is, I don't know if you got it right. So the answer is Mr. Y. So yeah, Mr. Y did it all. Like he wrapped all the gifts. I didn't help at all, like zero, zero percent. I didn't do anything. <laughs> and he tied all these ribbons as well. But yeah, I think these are really beautiful, but I'm actually surprised that, you know, you guys didn't guess professional rapper, like not many of you did. Um, I don't know, like I, I feel like these are pretty professionally made. I thought a lot of you would pick that. But yeah, if you guys have experience with like how professional rapper does it, like, you know, there's something, a clue that you could tell that it's not professionally made, please comment below and let us know because we're curious. I think these are awesome already. I just couldn't imagine like, what else can you do better? Maybe I, I just clueless. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Anyway, so not going to say furthermore. Let's just, you know, open one of my biggest gifts. So let's open this one first. Oh, I love the wrapper. I cannot wait to open this one. Oh. Oh, 
I'm going to show you guys this way. This is from Sesfiv. But obviously, this is not a Sesfiv brand. Okay. Can you guys guess which brand is this? I'm going to show you guys now. This is a ready to wear. Ta da! So I got the Montclair jacket to replace the one that I have right now. So this style, it's called Mocha. And it's actually cut close to my knee, like just right above my knees. And I think this is perfect, like when, especially when I travel to Canada, because I go to Canada a lot. And this winter is actually really, really cold. And what's so cool about this one is that with a hood, you can actually unbuckle all the hood. Like, so you see at the back, like you can actually unbuckle it all if you want. Okay, but I'm just gonna buckle it back because I need the hood. Yeah, like the only thing I'm like, well, yeah, it doesn't have the Montclair original fur or anything like that, but this is really enough because it also have another buckle here as well. And I tried it on, it actually fit my head perfectly. Like it's not too big or small because sometimes the one that with the fur is like oversized, like way oversized. And what's not good about that is sometimes kind of like blocking my sight. <laughs> so this one is really good with two pockets out here as well. And originally I did want a like glossy finish. So this is perfect. And of course, with the Montclair logo on the side. Yay! So I'm going to show you guys the back. And just so you know, this is in size four because I'm thinking like, I hope you wear really bulky inside anyway. So let's just make it more roomy for myself. So size, this is size four. Okay, just for your reference. If you guys want, I can definitely post uh, my model shop on my Instagram. Just comment below, let me know that you're interested. I'll post one picture of it um, so you guys can see what it looks like in person and just so you know my height is five five and a half so just for your reference and size four it's just like right above my knee so this is perfect i can wear long boots i can wear short boots with it i think this is good and it was really really warm when i tried it on so if you're wondering about you know the pricing in 2022 this one i purchased in $1,900 and I'm talking about US dollars. Okay, so now I have to open something that's for Mr. Y, right? Oh, this one's a little easier to take off. This is also a ready to wear item, but from a different brand. Ta-da! And this is called Perno. Okay, this is a vest jacket okay and for those of you who never heard of herno herno is actually an italian luxury outerwear brand and they were actually just as great as montclair i was actually looking at herno but unfortunately they don't have my size or like the one i was looking at they don't have a hood like hoodie was so important to me um, especially when I'm traveling in the snow or something. So, you know, I just couldn't go over it without a hood. So that's why I also, you know, went with Montclair instead of Colonel. But I'm so happy that, you know, Mr. Wow was able to score a vest at Colonel. Um, this will be his first Colonel jacket. I've been telling him, like, Colonel, it's great. You should try. And yeah, this is good. So it just looked like this. It's like different colors. I believe this is reversible. Yeah, I believe this is reversible. And let me just show you guys different colors. So red, one sided, as you guys can see. The other side is like a chocolate color, which I think is really nice. It's really nice. And it also have pocket on the side and it's buttoned it. Okay. And this side also, this side is zipper with the red. Which is, I think, is really cool. So just so you know, this is in size 52 in men's size. And I don't remember exactly the price, but this is about like 500 something. 
okay in us dollars of course so i hope you guys enjoy my part one christmas unboxing so far and if you have not yet subscribed to my channels please consider to subscribe and hit the bell notification because the part two will be the next day which is our boxing day so don't forget to check back to that videos at the same time the grand finale of the unboxing as you can see i have more Hermes boxes to unbox and this big giant gift and i've been asking for you guys could you guys guess what this is i mean some of you probably you know put your guess on instagram but then you know for those who didn't follow my Instagram or doesn't have an Instagram, you know, you can feel free to comment below or, you know, if you are watching Premiere, feel free to chat and let me know what your guess is on um, this giant box, okay? And, and this one too, this is a very special piece, okay, just so you know, it's very special even though it may not be mine, but that's okay. It's still a really, really good piece to share. All right, as always, thank you so much for watching and Merry Christmas and I will see you guys tomorrow.